Okay, it's the third day of marble math and physics. And we're gonna make a little maze for your marble. We're gonna call it a labyrinth. A little intricate little maze that can go all around and, um, and then you can even put holes in it where the marbles fall through if you get in the wrong place. So first, you're gonna take your box. It's been cut up like this. You're gonna put it up like this and make sure that it's all put together right. You can glue it, or you can tape it, or you can do both. Put some glue like that. Put some glue over here. I'm gonna put these little fold tabs on the outside so the inside is cleaner. But you can do it however you want. This is a very intensive uh, gluing project. It's a lot of glue here. But you can also use the tape to go around the outside if you want. Then when you've got that, now you got to get uh, a pencil or uh, a marker and work out how you want to start the marble. You put the marble in one place and drop it in there and then you can decide where you want the marble to go. I'm going to go all the way down here and then I'm going to go here. back down here and over to here and this is going to be the end all right and meanwhile you have to think about putting the stuff in there that's gonna it's gonna keep the marble uh, uh, where it's supposed to be or make it difficult to get the marble where it's supposed to be all right and you've got these little corks and you've got rubber bands to put around the corks uh, but you can't pull on them too hard or they'll fall off. So you don't want the corks too far apart, only about that far apart, like that. Okay, and then you've got these clothespins, which you could just take apart, and you could put these little clothespin, clothespin uh, wood pieces over there, and that will also make the marble go where you want, or stop the marble from going where you want. Okay, so I'm gonna take all four clothespins apart, and so I have eight little pieces of clothespin and I got my corks and then you've also got these little things here those things can be used to uh, to catch the marble if you make a hole and, and actually I'll make the last hole first this is where I want to get the marble so I'm gonna put a hole right there through there and now instead of the like the marbles on the or the holes on the other marble games for this one you want it big enough the actual marble goes through it so you can use a cardboard cutter and twist it around and then see if the marble goes through and it still doesn't go through so then you're gonna cut you can take it like this you can actually cut out a little circle so that the marble just slides right down through the bottom sure that it fits down through there because it can't be hard it has to just drop and it's uh, still not big enough you don't want to make it too too big but you want to make it plenty big. Uh, oh, still not big enough okay, kind of clean it off you can also use uh, scissors you just go around it with the scissors like this, kind of clean it off like that. And in the end, it has to be cleaned from the inside because that's where the marble is going to be sitting. So you have to get all the stuff on the edge to let the marble go down through the hole. You can push it down with your fingers, make it go down into the hole like that. So it just falls down. There it is. Okay, 
Uh, so now I'll make my little uh, pathway, my labyrinth in there. And, uh, and then I'll decide where I want to put the other holes. Oh, because then the, the cups will go under here when you're when you're all done, you put the cups on, but we'll, we'll do the whole thing first before we put the cups because it'll be easier to work with before we put the cups on. All right, so here we go. Oh, one thing I forgot to point out is tomorrow we're going to make uh, a pinball machine out of this. There's going to be a little place to pull back and it's going to shoot the marble up. So you want to leave one section along the outside, one side or the other side, usually the right side. You want to leave that free. Don't mess that up with the corks or holes or anything because tomorrow we're going to put a little... A border piece there and the marble is going to come up there and it's going to go out here all right these other things you can move you can change them but leave that little, little place over on the side all right so let me continue Okay, so I changed my, my path as I was putting the, the things in there. I saw uh, different, different ways it might work better. And so I've got a path in there now, or I've got the obstacles in there now. Now I got to make the path around the obstacles and I got to put the holes in there. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make the path again. I'll make it with the mark. No, I'll make it with the pencil in case I mess up. I think I want to have it go this way. And maybe there's a big hole right here. And then I come down here and there's another big hole right here. And then it's supposed to go over here. And I come right here, another big hole, and then over here, put a hole here, and then one more hole down right here. Okay, so then the pathway should be, whoo, actually come over here, and that hole is going to be too big. I'm going to make the holes, make the big old holes first, and then I'll make the path around the holes. Okay, I'm gonna glue the I'm gonna glue the cups on. Cups just need about three blobs of glue. Well actually it's better to put it on the, the rim of the cup and then pop it right on. Maybe I'll leave the bottom one open so it actually falls out on the ground for the last one. 
Now it should stand on those little cups. If it doesn't, you could put more cups on the corner so it stands up correctly. Okay, now I gotta decide my, my path and I can always put more stuff. I can always add more uh, cardboard from the little bits that I cut off yesterday or you can find more cardboard and put even more stuff down there if you want. So I'm gonna start here, I'm gonna drop the marble in here and I'm gonna say that it has to come down this way but then it has to move this way and it has to go through here and it has to go right around here right next to that line. And then I got some glue there, it's gonna make it hard. But that's okay, it's supposed to be hard. And then I'm gonna make it come around here following the original line over to here, over to here, and then it's gonna come this way, and then it's gonna be right through here. Actually, this'll be interesting if I make it go around the back side of this hole, and then it's gonna come out here. Oh wait. Yeah, it's gonna come here and it's come back around here over to here and it's come right through here over to the hole. Okay, so now that I got it with my pencil, I'm gonna do it with the marker so that it's clear. That's the start and then it's gonna go like this. Like that. Okay, and then I'm gonna put a couple more little pieces of stuff in here with my uh, piece of cardboard. I'm gonna put one right here. Actually, I don't know if that one's gonna work. You can always just rip stuff out if it doesn't work. That's the great thing about hot glue can always just keep on going. I'm gonna leave this open and that open. And I think I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make it closed over here. So it doesn't get that way. Or maybe one more piece over here. Okay. I think it's ready. Let's see if it works. I'm gonna drop it in right here. I'm gonna move it over here. Oh, I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna go over that way. And there's the piece of glue I thought would be a problem. Well, sure is. It goes over here. Yes, it goes over here. And it doesn't go through. Oh, I'll rip that guy out again. Okay, and it comes this way. And it goes over here. And back over here, and over to here, and I got it the <laughs> first try. That probably means it was too easy. I should have made more holes and more complicated line. And then when the glue, when I glue something wrong, I should clear up the glue. Uh, but you see, it didn't go in any of the holes, whereas it could have. Could have. When it goes in a hole, you have to turn it over and get the get the marble out. Uh, so, and you could put more holes. Like I said, you got eight of these, and even if you run out of these, you can make a hole that just goes down to the to the floor. So that's it. Now, of course, you can decorate it. We have um, uh, color paper. We have beads. We have uh, pipe cleaners. You can decorate it and make it, and markers to make it whatever colors you want. All right. Uh, all right, that's day three.